All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about the two-handed backhand and in particular, the timing of the take back and the step. The take back and the front foot step have to happen at exactly the same time. If you want to create that torque to get balanced and to really be able to rotate into the shot. So if you hear people talking about taking the racket back early, that should mean to here to prepare somewhat for the shot. But if you take the racket back fully too soon, then what happens is when you step with this front foot, it's often sideways and then you end up having to like stick your ass out or drag the racket around your body. It can get a little bit awkward. So I'm going to use Nitsan as an example here. He has a fantastic backhand. I've often put his forehand on blast, but his backhand is great. So we're going to use him as an example. And again, just watch how he synchronizes the take back and the step. So if we look at the, the, the full movement, often it will be getting your left foot into the right position, step as you take the racket back, and then you can start to rotate around that front leg and start to hit an effective backhand. He does have one issue sometimes where when he gets a bit too intense and he wants to try and hit it hard and he takes this back he doesn't necessarily get the timing wrong but he does sort of overstep with this front foot and again if you're in this position with the foot this way it can cause a few errors so everyone just relax take it easy and just time this take back in the step from here then you can start firing it okay let's take a look at Nitsan. i'll talk to you later When you were a little bit more relaxed and sort of warming up, you, you synchronize the take back and the step really nicely, right? And that's kind of, I'm going to make a video on this of the timing of the take back and the step happening at the same time. I think then when you stepped it up a little bit, there was a lot of this. And then when this came, the foot was this way. And now you, does that make sense? Yeah. Have a look at these videos and, and notice that th when you're a little bit calmer, you get this when you're a little bit more like maybe you do this a little bit early or maybe you turn a lot then when you step here you're not quite on your front foot yeah, then you I, I feel then you do stuck. this then you kind of have to pull it a bit yeah I you feel like stuck I yeah look like like this and i'm not able to turn my foot is like parallel to the baseline